Today we're going to talk about a term I recently heard at the conference. I liked it so much I thought I should do a video about it. You know, my bet is you're like most business owners. I know there are some things that you're really good at and some things not so much. Now Dan Sullivan calls the things that you're really good about your unique ability. And Dan Sullivan was the founder of the Strategic Coach. The person I was speaking with calls the two zones a genius and I like that a lot also. Hi, I'm Josh Patrick, the founder of the Financial Freedom Project, State Two Planning Partners, The Sustainable Business, and I'm the author of Sustainable, a fable about creating a personally and economically sustainable business. I'm sure that you would agree that working on the right thing in your business is often the difference between success and failure. In today's video, I'm going to talk about two different skills every small business owner needs to focus on if you do you'll be hitting the bullseye of success more often than you miss. How's that sound to you? So here are the two zones of success. One is how we get business, and the second is the actual work of getting business. Now one of those involves marketing, and the other involves innovation. These are the two areas Peter Drucker said create value in the business. And Peter Drucker, who is the founder of Management Theory and Management Consulting, was a really smart guy. He has, his statement was, only marketing and innovation produce results. Everything else is a cost. So let's break this down. First, let's start with how we get business. You know, the first part of getting business is you have to be found. People have to know that you exist. That's called marketing. And the question I want to know is, how do people find your business? What activities do you do or what activities in your business are you doing to help people find you. Now the key here, and this is counterintuitive, is creating a small enough niche that is easy for people to find. And now I know you are thinking, I don't want to create a small niche, it's going to keep people from doing business with me. Well the truth is, the opposite happens. The smaller the niche, the easier it is for you to create authority in that niche, the easier it is for you to get found. This is where I think true genius lives. Now the second thing I want you to ask when it comes to marketing is do you have a clear vision of who your best customer is and why they're your best customer? And more importantly, what are they saying them, to themselves? You know, the, the truth is that most people who think about businesses and think about their customers really think about demographics, which is age, how much they make, where they live, what kind of business are they in. Those are things that everybody thinks about. But the genius in this, when you're building what we call an avatar, is what is the conversation that your customers are having with themselves about problems, issues, solutions, and opportunities they have? If you can figure out what those customers are, you, those conversations are that they're having with themselves, you can start using that information in your messaging from marketing to your customers. Now, the next thing is, is that to make a sale, you have to be, or to get really recognized and people want to talk to you, you have to be unique. Now, one of the things I really like is a thing I call the rule of three. And the rule of three basically says when you have three different things that make you unique in your business, you actually are unique. When you have one thing, you sound like everybody else. When you have two things, you sound like a lot of other people. But adding that third thing seems to be the magic. Let me give you an example. In the Financial Freedom Project, we have three things that make us really unique. Number one, I know how to value a business quickly, easily, and I'm able to do that from the viewpoint of the buyer. Now, lots of people can do that. If that was the only thing I had to make me stand out from other people, you shrug your shoulders and probably move on. And the second thing we do is that we know how to put together a financial plan, meaning we know how to use the after-tax, after cost value of your business, and we know how to look at your personal expenses and say which ones are the business paying that need to be added back into your financial plan that isn't being done. Now there are very few financial planners that do that, but there are financial planners that do that. But there are even less financial planners who know how to do the financial plan properly and value the business properly. Now the third thing for us is what I consider the magic sauce is. Most people when I talk to them are stuck in what I call PERMA-5. Financial freedom always seems like it's five years away. I ask you today it's five years away. I ask you tomorrow it's five years away. I ask you three years from now it's five years away. And I ask you five years. It's still five years away. 
That's because you don't know the strategies that are available and the strategies that you should be using to create excess cash flow that allow you to become financially free from your business. And that's where the strategies come in. And when I put all three of those things together, I created something that is truly unique. And it's easy for you to say, you know, if I'm thinking about financial freedom, and I'm thinking about what it's going to take for me to leave my business, I might want to have a conversation with that guy, Patrick. He might actually know what he's talking about. Now, here's the second thing we need to do is, okay, I've got you. I've created some interest with you. You've talked with me. And you say, okay, I want to do that. So how am I going to be unique and make it easy and deliver what we do? Well, for me, it's about simplification. We were able to take this work and what would normally take people six months, seven months, eight months to do it, we can do it in a matter of weeks. Why? Because we put systems in place that are innovative where the person who is actually working with us becomes a true partner in putting together the plan. And because the, this person, the, the people that are working with us are true partners, it's easy for them to do that. And that's where you have to there. Now, by doing that, we had to systemize the business. We had to document because if I don't do that, it has to be me doing the work all the time. But if I systematize and I document what we're doing, then we can have other people come and join in the party. Now, that's innovation. And that makes our company more efficient, more effective, and a better result for our clients. Now that you know there are two things that you need to do to really create some expertise and interest in your business, what are you going to do? Why don't you scroll down, leave a comment, and let me know what you're going to do. And while you're at it, click on the button below, get our cheat sheet for the Financial Freedom Project, and you're going to see the five stages that people go through to become financially free from their business. I bet you're going to find that really valuable and something that will be useful for you. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope to see you back here really soon.